Waitman at the front of that pack alongside Laura Muir and Sarah McDonald a couple of places back just behind Bobby Clay there. McDonald in the black vest. What progress she's made this year. Ten seconds off her personal best in the 1500. She ran 407.18 here in the Diamond League meeting three weeks ago and the standard is 407 flat. But it's uh, Waitman and Muir who uh, are at the front now and again the pace just continues to lift but Hannah England getting herself in a good position as well just alongside Bobby Clay as they hit the bell yeah, as they go through the bell it's the battle we expected at the front with Charlene Thomas very well placed Bobby Clay will probably struggle to go with it and has Hannah England got enough pace left to be able to react and get herself back up there but there you see the change of pace that Laura Muir had well Laura Muir now just putting on a show and what a gap she has opened within just a few strides back to Laura Waitman and Charlene Thomas is hanging on to the back of Laura Waitman who has to finish in the top two to guarantee Olympic qualification. She has the standards but Muir is surely going to take the title as she did last year. Look at the gap and Laura Waitman just digging in but Charlene Thomas, the Wakefield Harrier hanging on to Waitman at the moment and Waitman just looking round and digging deep and gritting her teeth. This is the battle for second that Waitman has to win to guarantee selection. Laura Muir though into the home straight and heading for victory again by a big margin. But behind her the race is on and Laura Waitman now as Charlene Thomas comes past and Waitman tries to dig again. Muir takes the victory. She has the title and Laura Waitman comes again and takes second place. Well, it was the top two we expected, but not perhaps in the fashion we thought. Laura Muir, a long way clear, the British champion once again, and perhaps she is a class apart from the rest in these terms in this race this year. But Laura Waitman, what an effort to get that second place because it looked for all the world that Charlene Thomas had it coming down the home straight. It did, but one thing that you can always say about Laura Waitman, she's never going to give up on it. And she knew that she needed to do that to get on that plane for Rio and to keep her everything on track for this season. And she was able to fight back. Maybe she paid a